Would you like to create a solid customer satisfaction survey? Let me show you how. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and customer satisfaction surveys can be good for both you and your customer. It can help you build relationships and it can help you solve pain points that your customers are having with your business. So let me show you how to make one. First thing we're gonna do is go up to the top left-hand corner and choose to create a form. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the left-hand side under the different types. I'm gonna choose survey templates. And we can take a quick scroll and see if there's any type of satisfaction surveys. We see a couple here. Let's go ahead and choose to see all. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this middle one, the customer satisfaction survey form. I'm gonna go ahead and use template. All right, let's take a scroll. <laughs> Only three questions. Now, if I can give you one piece of advice, the shorter your survey, the more likely your users are going to fill it out. So if your survey is longer than three questions, one of the main things you wanna do at the very beginning, very top, is let them know what to expect maybe a time commitment. This survey will take you one minute, five minutes. Let them know what to expect upfront. And this is especially if your survey is going to be in the card format to where they can't see the questions up front. So there are a couple of ways that we can do that. We can see that there's already a heading element up here at the top. So if we wanted to, we could choose the properties and we could edit this subheading text. Or if we want more room, we can always go over to the left-hand side. We can add a form element and we can bring in the paragraph text pretty much to give people an idea of what to expect, that time commitment, and maybe even how you're gonna utilize this data to improve in the future. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this paragraph text. And we can see that this survey is utilizing different types of elements. So this first element looks like an input table. So that way you get to choose what goes on the left-hand side and what goes across the top. The next one is going to be a single choice question. And then at the bottom, we have a long text box to allow them to expand on their thoughts. Now, if we go over on the left-hand side, we can take a quick scroll and see what other options we can utilize for a survey. A spinner would be good and even a star rating or the scale rating would be good. So let's go ahead and choose the star rating. For this, I'm just gonna keep it simple and say, how many stars would you give us? Now, one thing to consider as you're creating your survey is you want your questions to go from general to specific. So if you feel that this question might not fit in best here and you feel it's more general, we can always move the questions around to best fit your survey. Now, if your survey is more on the longer side and you are using this classic style of a form, one thing that you can do to break it up and make it appear shorter than it is, is you can utilize the section collapse option. So within the basic form elements down at the very bottom, we have section collapse. So if I go ahead and put this right here and I open up the properties, we can see that the section visibility is hidden, which means that everything underneath it is not going to be visible, but the button visibility is visible. So they can see that they can collapse or uncollapse. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one is going to be overall satisfaction because that's what that question is. Then I'm gonna go back down to the bottom and bring another collapse right here. We're gonna call this one star rating. Maybe one right here called improvements. Perfect. So if I choose to preview this form, we can see that the survey looks extremely short. So we can choose, all right, overall satisfaction can answer these, we choose a star rating, we should answer these two questions, and then improvements, we can answer these questions here. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about creating your own customer satisfaction survey, let us know, and I'll see you next time.